All right, this is gonna be a very quick video on my Dyson bladeless fan prototype. The Dyson bladeless fan technology is very well documented. It's been around in homes for a while, so I'm not gonna really go into how it works. There are plenty of resources online, plenty of good YouTube videos that go into depth with this, but in like 15 seconds, basically, the Airstream is indirectly generated by a separate fan unit. This unit can incorporate things like filters and ducts to make cleaner and quieter air. And then the stream from the unit is injected into this airfoil shape. The geometry of the airfoil causes a pressure differential, which both accelerates the air outward and pulls air inward upstream. Dyson has figured out how to make these effects work really well with each other and have been able to produce really incredible fans that generate a huge amount of moving air with no visible moving parts. And again, I don't want to go into this mostly because it's their intellectual property, but I thought it would be cool to try and 3D print this at home and model it myself because I already have most of the 3D printed fan components on hand from my previous 3D printed EDF videos. So for the fan unit, I'm essentially reusing the latest version of my duct that I've been using for these EDFs. I cut a slot at the bottom for the air to be pulled in through. I'm using an 11 bladed PLA plus fan that again, I've been using for quite a while now. And then at the end, I have five tapered angled motor stators. I didn't have to CAD much, this is just a copy of the old ducts I've been using. So the air generated from this fan is routed through a small rectangular hole into the airfoil section. Because of the geometry, I had to print these in two separate parts, making three parts in total. This actually gives us a cool opportunity to look at the cross section. It's a simple asymmetrical airfoil with the air being inserted a little over the quarter cord point. I also had to include slots for the outrunner motor wires. And at the end, I sanded everything down and super glued everything together, adding electrical tape to further seal off the mates. So I learned that this thing is super hard to make work, even if the theory is relatively simple. In my very scientific testing, I was able to generate a small amount of air out the airfoil section. And honestly, it was probably just a product of the air having nowhere else to go and just going out the slots. I don't know if the actual shape of the airfoil did anything to accelerate it. I made an adapter to attempt to funnel the air more efficiently and smoothly into the small rectangle of the airfoil section, but the energy loss here was so significant that basically nothing was coming out the small end. And there are a list of aerodynamic difficulties that I've come across, number one being controlling the mass flow of the fan to air troil transition. I think my slot was way too small, it was something like 1 centimeter by 0.75 centimeters. And as I saw in my EDF testing, converging nozzles or converging designs like this tend to cause things like flow reversal and generally lose out on efficiency as opposed to speeding up the flow like it should in theory. So I'm barely getting any air out of the fan unit in the first place. And who knows if the design that I basically just designed with one spline would do anything to actually magnify the flow speed. Other things like the low print quality making really aerodynamically unfavorable layer lines and the vibrations of this huge 70 mil setup I'm running make this a really difficult project. I don't know how much time I want to spend on this just because, again, it is Dyson's property, but I thought it would be cool to try it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm wondering if anyone else has tried this at home in a more DIY context and if it worked out for you, but again, thank you.